News in the world of Valheim today with a new development blog. Let's go. Look at this cool new picture. Development blog, heavy hitters. Mostly we're going to be talking about Ashlands today, but they do mention that the Jack of Turnip and a brand new witch hat is out on public test right now. Most of the stuff on public test right now has to do with some optimization stuff. I am excited about the return of the Jack of Turnip. They also mentioned that they have been doing some internal Ashlands play testing. And this playtesting has looked pretty deadly. We're seeing a lot of grave markers everywhere. I think I remember seeing a picture too where there are a bunch of grave markers off the edge of the coast of Ashlands. Pretty sure that's going to have something to do with the Bone Maw Serpent. Not to mention the fallen Valkyrie swooping in to get us. They mentioned they're starting to get questions again about the update and whether you have to start a new world when the Ashlands update eventually hits. And it's not technically necessary, but they do recommend it. If you want to look at info on how to get the new update in your old worlds, check out my video on that. I'll put a link above. And then we head into the teasers, starting off with some new weapons. We have a great sword, a regular sword, a mace, and yes, dual wielding axes that a lot of people have been asking for. I don't know exactly what metal these are made out of, this could be a base model compared to some of the upgrades that we may be able to add on to some of these. Looks magical, looks electrical, looks frosty. I don't know. What do you think those powers could be? And how are we going to get the power on here? I have a theory. They talk next about this new contraption. Looks like the obliterator, but does something different. Look at the color of it down here with this glowing color. Doesn't that kind of remind you of the glowing on these weapons? It's almost exactly the same green as the sample green up here. Perhaps this contraption is how we create the effects on the weapons. Because let's face it, that flametal sword, fire sword that's been in the files forever that people have been hoping for, is not going to do a lot of damage against these charred fiery creatures. I'm pretty sure that in one of my playing with a dev episodes, the a dev told me that we will never find anything in the files that's going to end up in the game. Those are all old things that have been cast aside. I don't remember where that was, so if anybody remembers, could you let me know? So we may have to let go of our hopes for that flaming sword. They've shown some Ashlands on the edges before, they say. This is where it was more covered with ash and soot. But now we get a peek a little farther inside where lava can dominate pretty large areas. Crossing these lakes of molten rock will be a challenge of its own, we assure you. We had a picture at the top of the dev blog where it looks like the lava is going down into a sinkhole and this appears to be a new armor. Let's lighten that up a bit. These definitely look like sinkholes to me where you could slide right down into that lava and die. How you would get a grave out of there, I am not sure. And then over here, this is definitely new armor. Looks to me like this is made out of hair hide. That's definitely the same pattern as the hair rugs. Then we have another picture in a different location with these big burning crystals. Big one here, one off in the distance a bit. I think that these are going to be replacing the flametal that's currently in the game. I don't know if they're still going to call it flametal. But I think this is going to take over for those nodes. Those were probably put there as placeholders. And if we look at this picture a little bit closer, ta-da! We can get a better look at the armor here in the front. Definitely looks like that is some hair hide. I don't know what else is used to make that armor. And the pants almost look like they have boots that make your feet fireproof. Are they fireman boots? I don't know. I so hope they're required. And Verso will finally have to wear pants. <laughs> Even if it's a sparse pair of pants like this concept, it still has boots on them and I'm still counting it as pants. This one and the one having pants are a couple examples of the light armor coming our way. But if we move over here to the side of this picture, we get a much clearer image of what some of the ruins are going to look like in the Ashlands. I wonder if the catapult or the battering ram will be used to break into those places or just to defend our places. 
It's a cool looking ruin though. Pretty significant size too. Which I was kind of expecting from some of the concept art that we saw for them. And last but not least is the build of the month by Splash O Pain. Appropriately given us a Halloween themed build out in the swamp. Make sure to subscribe for all things Valheim. Until next time, happy gaming!